how to plan and photograph the solar partial eclipse happening on October 25th, 2022. Hello, Photopilla Raphael, the bar here. A partial solar eclipse is a stunning natural phenomenon. It occurs when the moon partially covers the sun and it casts its penumbra shadow on Earth. The partial solar eclipse takes place through three phases. When the eclipse begins, when the eclipse is maximum, it's when the moon covers the maximum area of the sun, and when the partial eclipse ends. And the time each phase occurs depends on the location you are on Earth. So, if you wish to photograph the partial solar eclipse, you need to know where and when the eclipse will be visible. You need a plan. And afterwards, I'll show you all the gear you need and all the camera settings you need to nail your photo. As you know, the partial solar eclipse will be visible only from certain places on Earth. Therefore, the first thing you need to do is to find those places on Earth where the eclipse will be visible. And also, you need to figure out the time each phase of the eclipse will occur. With this information, you'll be able to plan your photo of the eclipse. So let me show you how to plan the eclipse with photo pills. Go to photo pills, tap on planner here in the pills menu, and now tap on the map settings button. You have it on the map next to the plus button. And here on the map layers, tap on eclipse and look for the solar eclipse you wish to plan. In this case, we want to plan the, uh, the partial solar eclipse happening on October 25th. So tap on it and go back to the map. Now, notice that on the time bar, the time has been set to October 25th, 2022, which is the date of the eclipse. Now, swipe to the panel to the left until you get to the eclipse panel this one. On the panel, you have the times of the main phases of the eclipse for the red pin position. In this case, I have the red pin in Menorca. Now, if you zoom out, if you zoom out, you'll see the areas where the partial solar eclipse will be visible. These are the areas within these yellow and orange lines you see on the map. Outside these areas, the eclipse is not visible. Check on the top panel. So, you need to place the red pin in area within uh, these lines you see on the map. And again, now that I have the pin within these lines, the top panel is telling me the times each phase of the clips will occur. Let's imagine that you were in Iceland and you want to plan your eclipse shot to it from Vik, from the black beach of Vik. All I have to do is to press, long press on the map to place the red pin where I want it to be. Okay, so I have the red pin in the location I want to plan my shot. And on the top panel, I have the times, the local times, the each phase of the eclipse will occur. So the eclipse will begin at 8.58 and 51 seconds in the morning. The eclipse will maximum at 9.47 and 14 seconds, and it will end at 10.37 and 11 seconds a.m. If I do a long press on the time on the top panel, the time will set will be set to the uh, time bar. So now I've set the time to 9, which is the time when the eclipse is maximum here in Iceland. Fantastico! And I have my shooting spot, the red pin position, I have my shooting time. I'm gonna start shooting from 8, 58 and 51 seconds until 10, 37 and 11 seconds. I've selected the time for the maximum eclipse. Uh, now the time in the time bar is 9.47 a.m. And on the map, I can see where the eclipse will occur. This thin kind of gray line, because it collides the direction of the sun and the moon. Here, I have the direction where the eclipse uh, will happen. And if I tap on the AR button, if you imagine you are at the right pin position, you can visualize where the eclipse is gonna happen. As you see, the eclipse is gonna be pretty low in Iceland. If you're playing well, you might even be able to align the eclipse with a cool subject. To plan your eclipse shot is super easy. Place the red pin in a location you want to go and shoot it. Set the time, for example, of the phase you want to shoot, for example, when the eclipse is maximum, and then using the map, you'll know where the eclipse is going to happen, and if you want to know the elevation, you can check the AR button here on the planner, and if you want to know the elevation of the sun at the, at the selected time, you can go to panel number three, and here you have the sun elevation and elevation also of the moon. But but use they are it's super useful to find where the eclipse is gonna happen 
through your phone. Great, now that I have my plan for the eclipse, let's see the gear you need to photograph it. Whether your goal is to photograph the partial solar eclipse with no foreground, or to photograph it aligned with an interesting subject, you'll need the same equipment. You'll need your tripod and head, your camera, of course, a telephoto lens, 300, 400, 500, the longer the better. Here you have a crop sensor camera, you'll benefit from the multiplying effect on the focal length. And if you have a teleconverter, it may be a good idea to use it to enjoy a longer focal length. If your goal is to photograph the landscape with the path of the eclipse, then you'll need a wide-angle lens. At the end of the day, the lens you're going to use depends on the framing you want, on the photo you want. Also, and this is very important, if you don't want to risk damaging your camera, or most important, your eyes when you're looking through the viewfinder of your camera, please don't use an handy filter. You must use a proper solar filter ah, and a pair of solar eclipse glasses. Oh my god, this is so... Beautiful! Finally, use an external shutter release or an intervalometer. The less you touch the camera, the better. Avoid vibrations at all costs, because vibrations produce blurry images. On the eclipse date, arrive at the shooting location one hour or so before the eclipse begins, or even more in advance if you can. For the total solar eclipse in 2017, we arrived the day before of the eclipse at the shooting location. Once at the location, set up everything, your gear, your tripod, at the planned shooting spot. This is the red beam position. And make sure that everything is stable. Use the photo pills on monitor reality view to visualize the position of the sun in the sky, the position of the eclipse, and double check that you are at the right shooting spot. Now, set the focal length you wish to use for the framing you want, for example, 500 mil and attach the solar filter to the lens. And this is important, keep the solar filter attached in front of your lens during the whole session. Remember that during a partial solar eclipse, the moon never covers the sun completely. So keep the filter in front of the lens. If you're shooting with a telephoto lens, meet your light on the surface of the sun before the eclipse begins. Now, set the aperture to f8 to get a nice deep depth of field. Set the nominal ISO of your camera, for example, 100 ISO. And set the shutter speed that gives you the right exposure on the surface of the sun. Usually, a shutter speed between 1 divided 500 seconds and 1 divided 1000 seconds should work. But my advice is that you bracket your exposure to make sure that you get at least one photo correctly exposed. A one-stop bracketing of three photos should be enough in most situations. Now, make focus on the age of the sun. And if you're photographing the clips with an interesting subject, may focus on your subject. Then, take a tech shot and make sure that the sun or the sun and uh, your subject are in focus. There is an easy way to make sure that you're using the right camera settings to get both in focus the sun and your subject. And I explain how to do it in this video. Watch it. And last but not least, check that the exposure is right. Check that you're capturing detail on the surface of the sun. And if something looks wrong, make the necessary adjustments in the exposure or in the focusing. And if everything looks great, then you're ready for the eclipse. Just enjoy the show. No, stop. Show me the eclipse, Tony. Show me the photo. Uh, start! The eclipse, oh my god! Wow, start! Yes! Come on! Now, if you wish to learn more on how to plan and photograph a solar eclipse, I invite you to read and download and study well our super detailed solar eclipse photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Check it out! And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. Remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot. Legendary photos. Bye.